Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community. I'm Trigger Militia, and if you're bored of Need for Speed Heat right now, this video is for you. I've got five suggestions for you. Let's go! Alright, thank you so much to everyone who clicked on this video. It truly means the world to me that you would give one of my videos a shot, so hopefully I don't disappoint. Also, shout out to all the subscribers. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. Up until now, Need for Speed Heat has put out one update, and it really was more like a giant patch to fix bugs with steering wheel support, and they just announced the first content update which drops this coming Tuesday. I've made a video detailing that content drop, so if you want to check it out, you can click the link at the top here, or check the description of this video. That being said, if you're rep level 50, there's really not a strong endgame. So it's easy to find yourself bored of the game, but here are the top 5 things I like to do when I'm feeling bored in Need for Speed Heat. Number 5. This one might sound super obvious, but work on 100%ing all of the activities and finding all of the collectibles. There are 100 flamingos, 130 sprays, 40 jumps, 85 billboards, 45 speed traps, and 35 drift sections, which adds up to a total of 435 different activities to be completed on the map. There are several cars that need to be unlocked, and the only way to unlock most of them is to 100% these activities. This should keep you pretty busy for hours. A little tip, if you're having trouble finding any of these collectibles, there are websites and maps posted online that show you exactly where everything is. Again, I know this is kind of just saying, play the game, but I think some people actually overlook the collectibles, and I personally had a great time grinding to get everything. The sprays alone are dope because they unlock the graphics and the stickers for your wraps on your cars. Alright, moving on. Number 4. Build a drift car and start trying to capture some insane clips. I love trying out new drift builds and going to Port Murphy to hit some insanely tight gaps. It feels so good when you hit it just right and slide through a super small gap. This is even more fun if you can get a friend to do it with you. I don't know how many hours I've killed just drifting around trying to catch that perfect slide. Number 3. Build a sleeper and challenge the lobby. There's no better feeling than taking a beat looking Civic, Bug, or 180SX to a 400 plus race and destroying the competition. There are a lot of players out there running the Regera, which is great for long straightaways, but terrible in and out of turns. With the right build, you can easily gap the Regera in almost any race. Also, certain cars like the 63 Beetle are great at one thing, and that's going straight. You can surprise a few random players with how fast your POS car is. You can make this even better if you slap a terrible wrap on the car with rust and make it look even worse. This is honestly so fun just to destroy other players in a quick drag race or in an actual race. Number 2. Collect all of your favorite cars. I grew up in the early days of the Fast and the Furious. Everyone with $2,000 was buying hatchback Civics and building them up. It was just a thing to do. So I have a pretty soft spot in my heart for the 2000 Honda Civic Type R. This is a car I wanted to build ever since I was old enough to drive. And now I get the chance to build it exactly how I always wanted without spending any real money. Another one for me was the WRX STI hatch. I loved that car as a teenager and always wanted one. Anyways, I know this sounds a bit lame to some of you, but I really love cars and collecting them and building them in this game is so fun for me. I really enjoy stacking all of my former dream cars in my garage. And once you have all the cars you want, I would say make custom wraps for all of them. This kills a ton of time and can be super gratifying to get out your creativity. And my number one suggestion for what to do in Need for Speed Heat when you're bored is Try surviving at night as long as you can and breaking your own personal record with how much rep you can earn in one night. This is especially good if you're in a crew that isn't level 50 yet. Most crews are at this point I think, but if yours isn't, this is a way to help them out as well. Also, this can be super fun when thrashing cop cars and doing night races. It does take a bit of skill not to hit other cars and cops at night, and you only have a maximum of 5 repairs on your car. 3 at the gas stations, plus 2 more if you're running the repair kits. Heat 5 cops are absolute beasts, so my personal best is somewhere around 2 million rep in one night. I think the reason this is so fun is that sometimes it kinda scratches that Call of Duty Zombies itch, right? I mean it's like a mini survival game at that point, which in itself is super entertaining. I can't tell you how many hours I've played zombies and just ran around in circles and then shot a bunch of zombies and then did it again for 
four to six hours. And surviving at night kind of gives me that same exact feeling. All right, before I go, I just wanted to add one bonus tip, and this tip rings true for every game you are playing. If you're bored of the game, just play something else. It's really okay to switch it up from time to time. Sometimes for me, if I switch games for a month and then I go back to the other game, I find things to do that I never thought of before and start to enjoy the game again. As gamers, we absolutely devour content, and these games feel shorter and shorter, but the reality is that we're just addicts. A game like Need for Speed Heat would have lasted us an entire year with no content drops about 10 to 15 years ago. But now we expect so much from developers, and then when they don't produce, we immediately say the game is boring and dead. This really needs to stop. Try to be realistic if you can, and understand that it takes a long time to develop a game, and we run through it in a matter of hours. Support the games you want to support, and don't support the ones you don't. All right, I'm done lecturing. I know we all want more content as soon as possible, but it seems like we might be waiting for a while for anything of true substance. Hopefully this list can get you by until we can get something a little bit deeper. Just to help the community out, make sure you leave a comment with what you really enjoy doing in the game, and maybe we can all learn from each other so that we can all be entertained until the next content drop. Thank you so much for watching. Trigger out.